Hey what is up guys this is Yusuf here from TechDroids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today we are taking a look at the latest and greatest creation from OnePlus, the OnePlus 3T. So this is my review of the OnePlus 3T. I hope you enjoy, leave a thumbs up, subscribe and let's get started. So, you know the OnePlus 3, right? The $400 super budget phone that competed with flagships and it competed with phones like the Galaxy S7 Edge, the Google Pixel, and the iPhone. And it was a $400 phone that had the Snapdragon 820, 6GB of RAM, 3000mAh of battery, USB Type-C, and dash charging, which was the fastest, which is still the fastest charging available on the market. And it had a good 1080p display, good metal design, and not much of a price for a flagship killer it was only $400 $399 off contract and you can do anything it has 64 gigs of internal storage out of the box and it's still a great phone if you can buy it grab a deal and just don't wait for it now oneplus 3 or oneplus in the past week went out and launched their new phone which is the oneplus 3t now this costs $439 still budget but the $39 price comes with four to five major changes on the phone and this video will likely tell you all four to five changes that came up so this will be a quick video and there's not a look at in the oneplus 3t than like uh, comparing it to the oneplus 3 there's not a lot of changes but the changes that have come up are really good and let's take a look at them so change number one is the new chipset inside so it comes with a snapdragon 821 clocked at 2.35 gigahertz with, compared with the oneplus 3's uh, snapdragon 820 but no slouch snapdragon 820 still a really good processor really good chipset most of the phones still come out with snapdragon 820 and this is a really good healthy upgrade now it comes with the highest clock speed not the underclocked version but the actual originally clocked version which is 2.35 gigahertz and it's combined with 6 gigabytes of ram and the latest gpu from Adreno. And this makes up for a really good smartphone experience and Android Marshmallow runs very smooth on it. So change number two is the new front-facing camera. So the OnePlus 3 had an 8 megapixel front-facing camera and OnePlus went out all crazy, all nuts and gave a 16 megapixel sensor with f2.0 aperture at the front in the OnePlus 3T. So this makes up for a really good selfie experience. If you're a vlogger, this is a dream come true for you. 16 megapixels at the front, really good quality, high dynamic range, high contrast, really good colors. And I heard it just struggles with focus sometimes with the reviews and stuff, but that can be sorted with a software update. It's still very new, very early to tell that the camera is bad, but I feel 16 megapixels is really good at the front. Change number three is the larger battery. So OnePlus 3 had a 3000 milliamps battery, still really good battery life, but some people had issues like it was not lasting them that much. And if you're a very heavy user like me, 3000 milliamps would last you about a day or so. But the OnePlus 3T comes with a 3400 milliamp battery, but no design change. It, the phone is not thicker and OnePlus fitted better battery a larger battery in the same design so that is really good thumbs up to oneplus and really i would like to give them props for doing this and the higher battery capacity means you can use the phone longer the performance is better and the whole user experience the end user experience is top notch so chain number four is the new color so the new gunmetal color so the oneplus 3 came in silver and soft gold so now the new color is gunmetal. It's just like a new kind of space gray model. It's subtle, it's darker, and new color. If you like it, buy it, or else OnePlus is gonna OnePlus is gonna stop it. So that is the fourth change. Now fifth and the last change is the storage upgrade. Now the OnePlus 3 out of the box comes with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Now it does not have expandable storage, so the 128 gigs would make up for that and if you're a very heavy user have a lot of files on your phone 128 gigs should be plenty good for you and plenty enough you can store most of your steam library 
I'm kidding guys, you can store most of your Spotify, your apps, your games, movies, videos, anything you want and 128 gigs should be plenty enough for you. So that was it guys, thanks a lot for watching, give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed and a link to the OnePlus 3T will be in the description below. So if you're looking to buy a new good budget smartphone, the OnePlus 3T is highly recommended and comment down below what do you think about the OnePlus 3T, do you think it's worth it or not, subscribe to the channel. And this is Yusuf Alat from TechDroids and I'm signing out for the moment. Have a good day guys.